in too. So all you gotta do is pick it up and put it up. And no, that wasn't planned. <laughs> Hey guys, Bobby here with Mississippi Gulf Coast Gardener and today's project is going to be a little bit of cleanup and then we're going to do a little bit of build and then we're going to plant those grapevines. I don't know if I'm going to get it all done today or not. Uh, it's a pretty big project so I'm going to do my best but looks like we got some, uh, some rain clouds coming our way. So it may rain, it may not, but either way we're going to get some work done today. Now this over here, that's that's the way I keep my compost. Uh, that's just an old flower pot. We can move it. That is a um, Rubbermaid container that I was doing some composting in, just kind of an experiment. And of course, uh, I was growing some cantaloupes, but I think the uh, squash bugs got to them before they could get going really well. So I'll clean that up. I'm actually going to take this entire little trellis down, and we're going to lay some landscape timbers put in some good dirt and compost and plant into and, and put up a new trellis system and then plant into that so uh, that's the plan stick around we'll see what we can get done now this is always the hard part i'm going to struggle and there's just nothing i can do about it pulling these t-posts out of the ground i don't have one of those tools to do it with just my guns so i'm gonna do the best i can but don't worry i'll fast forward Looks like I might have to get the shovel after this one. It's really down in there. Plus, you know how my wa my ground holds water? Uh, it's in the mud, man. Stuff is uh, pretty tight. All right, I got my shovel and I got my sunglasses. Well, you can see how deep it was, about two feet. And uh, that's pretty thick mud down there. I mean, that sticks right in the ground because my, my ground is so wet. And uh, I wasn't planning on digging that up, but it is what it is. I need a good workout, sounds like, don't it? As a side note, this is Virginia buttonweed. And look at it. All of those are seed pods. I don't know of a way to stop this from growing. It's all over my yard. That's what's popping up in my wood chips and whatnot. This stuff is one of the most prolific things I have ever seen. So, Virginia buttonweed. Try not to get it. Which brings to mind a good point. Whenever you go to any nursery, big box store, it doesn't matter, to buy plants, always inspect them good. Even the soil that they're in. Make sure you don't see anything like this that could really uh, attack your yard and it'd be a really hard project to get it gone again. Just food for thought.
to go get the big one. I don't have to tell you that that's a lot easier with two people. <laughs> but I don't have two people. It's just me. So that is a 60 inch by 8 foot, I believe. I mean 16 foot. 60 inches by 16 feet uh, piece of fence. They're $21 and some change at uh, the tractor supply. That's the only place I can find that carries them. So. Every once in a while you catch them on sale for a couple dollars off, but to me they're worth it. They'll last forever. Now, although I need to cut the whole yard, right now I'm just going to cut this spot as low as I can get it. Now what I'm going to do is uh, try to find some cardboard and lay it down before I build a box and put soil in there. That's the plan. So we had a new neighbor move in next door. Apparently he bought a, a lawnmower and uh, he set the box out for the trash kit to get. And so I just uh, went over there and asked him if I could have it and he's like, yeah. Throwing it away anyways. So I'll just make sure to get all this tape off of here and then we'll lay it down in that spot. And that's gonna be just to help uh, prevent any weed seeds from germinating for a while. Alright. Now it doesn't have to be exact. that you want to plant. Got a couple of extra pieces, they're a little thicker. I'm not going to use those there, but uh, I will use them somewhere in the garden. So I just brought my landscape timbers over here um, just to kind of get a general idea of what it's going to look like. I got to cut them, of course. But uh, see, I got the birdhouse there, so I definitely need to be on the inside of that, that beam right there. So uh, this the planning on this thing is it's definitely not difficulty high. <laughs> but when it comes to somebody like me who is really not good at projects like this, I have to think about it. So I lay things out and think about it. But I'm going to take a few minutes break because it looks like it's about to come down. So bear with me. Well, I was going to use six inch nails. To do this but uh, this wood splitting it's got a lot of knots in it and whatnot so I'm just going to use my impact driver and some three inch screws and screw them in I just want it to hold together that's all it doesn't have to be you know airtight so I have some screws here and just every so often I'm gonna screw it in and I'll sink it down low so Okay, so my other trellis is over in the garden. I roughly measured the, the width of it from one side to the other, and it's 52 inches. So I cut this board 76 inches, which is 24 inches more than 52, to give me roughly a foot on either side of the trellis to plant the grapevine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to the center of the side wall and then measure in one foot and that's where I'm going to put my T-post. So it makes a little bit of sense. I'm no carpenter. I'm going 
get it started, you always want the, the bumps to be on the inside. Yeah. This is a handy dandy tool. Okay, this is the hard part. Without two people getting the cattle panel in there. I'm gonna to try to record this, but it might be funny. I have a couple of tie straps in case I get in there and get to a spot where I need to hold it. I'm gonna zip one on real quick. And that's all I use, by the way, is tie straps. wasn't as bad as I thought it was and that's the same technique I used when I did my other ones I just basically stand it up get in between it and walk it in it worked out pretty good and I'm just gonna add a few more tie straps and we'll be good That part's done. Now we just gotta put some dirt in there. All right, folks. So uh, I'm pretty much done for the day. All I've got left to do is just add some dirt and then put the grape plants in there. Um, I'm gonna use this compost here that I made. I think I have some compost left in there. I've got some more compost over in the other part of the yard and some in yet another part of the yard. So uh, that's a long enough video for now guys. I'm sorry it was so long, but I wanted to show you everything I did. So uh, in the meantime, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first one to get my new videos. And um, I'm getting uh, close to 200. I think I have 150 some odd subscribers now. So uh, we'll definitely do a giveaway at 200. So. Uh, get your friends to to uh, come subscribe to my page and uh, I usually return the favor and subscribe to theirs as well so all right guys well until next time happy gardening